Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, societies have started to burn fossil fuels at an ever-increasing pace. That leads to the accumulation of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. The increased trapping of heat causes the climate to change. It disrupts weather patterns, leading to more powerful storms, longer drought periods, and even more flooding. That is a problem for our agricultural production and for our civilization as a whole. In the Harnessing Plants Initiative, we bundle our expertise to solve a very important problem. And that problem is to store carbon stably in the soil to fight climate change. We can more efficiently draw down carbon if we have deeper root systems in crops. The root system architecture, which is the distribution of roots in the soil, determines of how well plants can go after nutrients and water in the soil. So depending on the plant species and on the environmental condition, a different root system architecture means a different capability to withstand stress or different precipitation patterns or drought periods. While we know a lot about uh, plant development and root development, it was not really well understood how genes in a plant genome decide whether roots grow deep or shallow. We somehow had a hunch that auxin might play a role in this, and therefore we started to chemically disrupt this auxin, this plant hormone pathway, to uncover genes and their genetic variants that determine root system architecture properties. We have found that a gene is able to regulate auxin transport in a specific manner, making root growth either deep or shallow. This suggests that this gene is important for adaptation to changing rainfall patterns. The discoveries reported in this paper are very important for the Harnessing Plants Initiative because we found a gene and its natural genetic variants that are able to confer deep rooting. Because this gene is important in determining how deep roots grow, and because the rooting depth determines how long carbon that is deposited by roots in the soil stays in the soil, this gene or similar genes will play an, a very important role for keeping the carbon that is drawn by, down by crop plants in the soil and thereby creating a source of negative emissions. Mm -hmm.